Hi friends, welcome to today's session and finally speculations comes to an end. UPSC has announced that preliminary examination is postponed and new date will be announced on 20th of this month. I request you all to keep the momentum in your studies. This game need consistent effort so don't try to relax for the moment. And to our yesterday's quiz question, which lake is seen in the Kochi city and it is Vembanad lake the longest lake in India and it is the second largest Ramsar site in India after Sundarbans. So we will start today's session. First question in the context of National Security Act 1980 consider the following statements. Statement 1. Under the National Security Act an individual can be detained without a charge for up to 12 months. And statement 2. The state government need not be intimated that a person has been detained under the NSA and which of the above statements is are correct option A 1 only option B 2 only option C both 1 and 2 option D neither 1 nor 2 correct answer here is option A 1 only India is one of the few countries in the world whose constitution allows for preventive detention during peace time article 22 clause 3 of our constitution says that the fundamental rights available to an arrested person will not be applicable in case of preventive detention and the National Security Act has its root in the preventive detention laws and it empowers the central or state government to detain a person so that he does not act in any manner prejudicial to national security and the person need not be charged during the period of detention and an individual can be detained without a charge for up to 12 months and the detained person can be held for 10 days without being told the charges against him. So it's a very powerful act. The grounds of detention can be acting in any manner prejudicial to the defense of India, the relations of India with foreign powers or the security of India. Second is that regulating the continued presence of any foreigner in India or to make arrangements for his expulsion from India. And there is a provision for constituting an advisory board under the act. It consists of three persons who are qualified to be appointed as judges of high court. And the grounds of detention must be placed before the advisory board within three weeks from the date of detention. And if the advisory boards find no sufficient cause for the detention, then the government shall revoke the detention order and release the person. Moving to the second question, with reference to Konark Sun Temple, consider the following statements. Statement 1. It was built by King Narasimha Deva I, the great ruler of Ganga dynasty. And statement 2. This temple was also known as White Pagoda. Statement 3. The temple is a perfect blend of Kalinga architecture. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 and 2 only. Option B 2 and 3 only. Option C 1 and 3 only. Option D 1, 2 and 3 and the correct answer here is option C 1 and 3 only. It is known as black pagoda not white pagoda. That is the sun temple at Konark. We will now look into the architectural features of sun temple. It comes under the Nagara or North Indian temple architecture. That is the Nagara temples you can see and in the East India our sun temple lies. Sun temple is built on the lines of Kalinga architecture. That is a subdivision under Nagara architecture and in Kalinga architecture you can see three variants. One is the pink colored one called Rekha Dula. Second one is yellow colored one called Pida Dula. And third one is blue colored Khakra Dula. The sun temple is second type. The Pida Dula it is a square building with pyramid shaped roof and is mainly found for housing the outer dancing and offering halls. The temples of Odisha constitute a distinct substrate within Nagara order. In general, here the Shigara is called dual in Odisha, is vertical almost until the top when it suddenly curves sharply inwards. I hope all of you are aware about Shikara. It is a tower-like structure of temple as you can see in the picture. And in South India, this tower-like structure of temple is called as Vimana. In North India, it is called as Shikara. So the Odisha temples got distinct Shikara not completely vertical structure like this it is vertical almost until the top and then suddenly curves 
sharply inwards here you can see the difference the sun temple is built on the shore of bay of bengal the temple is set on a high base its walls covered in extensive detailed ornamental carving these include 12 pairs of enormous wheels sculptured with spokes and hubs you can see in the picture and it is representing the chariot wheels of sun god who in mythology rides a chariot driven by eight horses and that is sculpted here at the entrance staircase and the whole temple thus comes to resemble a colossal processional chariot the other details about the temple is given here it was built by king narasimha deva 1 it is a unesco world heritage site and this temple was also known as black pagoda due to its dark color and uh, there is one another temple in odisha which is called as white pagoda and that is our quiz question for the day which temple is known as white pagoda please post your answers as comments last question for the day with reference to sutra pic recently seen in the news consider the following statement statement 1 it is an initiative of department of science and technology and statement 2 it is a program to research indigenous cows which of the above statements is are correct option a one only option b two only option c both one and two option d neither one nor two correct answer here is option c both one and two both statements are correct it is an initiative led by department of science and technology sutra pic is scientific utilization through research documentation prime products from indigenous cows it's a very complicated expansion it aims to develop products as well as improve the genetic quality of indigenous cattle breeds and the themes of the initiative can be seen here basically what it does is scientific research on complete characterization of milk and milk products derived from indigenous cows and also it does research on nutritional and therapeutic properties of curd and ghee prepared from indigenous cows and uh, development of standards for traditionally processed direct products of indian cows and that's it before i end today's discussion i would like to let you know that the pdf compilations of clear ias most probable prelims questions are now available on clear ias e book store kindly visit our website for that we'll meet tomorrow guys thank you for watching